Hello, my name is Randy Dobson. I'm an instructor here in the Houston, Texas area. And this video will be for my Lone Star College uh, students, uh, the continuing education courses. Uh, I want to kind of give you a little tour of the new format. If you've, if you've dealt with D2L or online with Lone Star, they recently changed it. Um, I will tell you up front that your screens might not look exactly like mine since I am an instructor, but I'll let you kind of know that. Uh, first thing, you go to your Lone Star uh, main website and go up to My Lone Star, and you will type in your login. If you don't have your login, contact the IT department, and they can help you with it. Uh, they're open 24 hours right here, 832-813-6600. Uh, now, when you log in, uh, you're going to get a couple of uh, little smaller screens to pick from. Obviously, yours is not going to look like mine because I've got faculty and employee and, and some uh, other things up. It's taking a minute here to log in. And so, just remember, you're only going to go to the one spot that I am uh, going to highlight here in just a second. Okay, I had to pause that for a minute because the internet was going slow. So you might have applicant, student, but you're not going to have this other. You don't have student email. You want to go to LSC online. Please note that if you've never done online with Lone Star, you will have to do an orientation. Uh, it will let you know that. You just keep doing that until you pass. It's fairly easy, but if you get stuck on that, uh, let me know. And once you go to online... Uh, it's going to show your classes, whatever ones you're taking. Uh, again, you're not going to have all these ones like I have. Uh, the one thing I want you to point out, point out is I don't want you to go to the, the classroom. I want you to look for this one here, community group. Let me kind of highlight it here if it'll let me. Well, uh, this one right here, community group, online, introduction, AutoCAD. That's the one I want you to go to. Uh, I use a community group because then I can... Uh, change the start and stop by a day or so so if a student needs help uh, once you open it up you're going to see now you won't see course management but you'll see content grades course activities collaboration and VTech support you won't be using that the front page is the announcements these are the things that are important I need you to read all of these uh, I do repeat myself sometimes but that's only because uh, I'll still have students do stuff incorrectly even though I posted it three times so I will repeat myself only because it's very important that you understand it um, under collaboration you'll have a discussion board and email I want you to email me your assignments in DWG format or if it's answering questions you can do it in a document a PDF but any kind of AutoCAD drawing I need that in the um, uh, DWG format. Uh, the discussion board, uh, that's where I'm going to list you know, issues that are going on. I need you to check into the class, uh, if not every day, every other day, just to stay up on things. We've got general questions here that are not AutoCAD related. Uh, you should have uh, AutoCAD questions put in this forum. And then the last is, I think that's actually the only two that I have on that. And see, these these all need to be read by you. Uh, this is all information uh, for you, uh, down to like the file name. You know, I've already had a couple students send me just assignment two or, or something like that. You need to fill it out with your last name, the module, and the problem number. Uh, so under collaboration, you only have two sections course activities you don't need anything under that grades you'll be able to see your grade in this course it's a pass or fail so uh, typically you need about 80 percent of the turned in assignments uh, to pass the course I will let you know as you can see here it's got all the students names and I will give you a four if you've done it right if you've done it wrong I will send it back to you uh, I try not to get ones and twos and threes in here. I want you to do it right, so I'll send it back to you. Uh, 
the content is the meat and potatoes of this whole thing. This is where everything is at. Your syllabus, instructions to download a free AutoCAD, students read this first, students read this second, order of the videos to watch and where to go. They're going to be on YouTube. And then here are the module. This course is about a four to five week. So you got module one. If I click on that, you'll see the assignments here. Now, the syllabus, then this is going to take a little coordination on your part. And please understand that the reason I do it this way is because uh, this is the way that businesses deal with AutoCAD. I've been doing AutoCAD for 20 something years and I've been doing working for engineering companies for over 40 years. Uh, and that, that is the one thing I do know. So let me uh, go to syllabus here and open it up. And the syllabus is going to have your assignments. Okay. And I want you to pay attention to this. If you need to watch this video again, you know, it'll be up forever. Um, let's, let's just take, like right here under module one, here are this assignment. With this PDF, you're going to do problems one through two. These are just exercises, so you don't have to turn anything in. Problems one to two is under 1B, and problems 1 through 3 is module 1C, and so on. Now, you may see other problems circled or highlighted. I want you to ignore that. This right here, as we always say, is gospel. This is this, this part right here uh, where it lists the problems. So what we're going to do is, if it let me click outside here, we're going to look at this one here, module 2B, problem 5. So if you were going to do that one, you would go back to your content. It'll let me go back there. And I'm going to go to Module 2. To be, open that up. And you can print these out if you like. Uh, they're just PDFs. And on here, you can see here's Problem 5. Now, on some of these, I've highlighted them in yellow, okay? And you may say, well, that's pretty obvious. I've had students turn in both 6 and 7, okay? So it gets confusing to some people. I try to put a red X, meaning you don't do this one. You only do this problem right here. So that's how the syllabus relates to the different modules for your assignments. Now, as you read through all my information in the course, you're going to find one thing that I stress very, very much, and that is to ask questions. Okay. In this course, asking questions doesn't mean that you're stupid or you're dumb or you don't. We all started not knowing how to work AutoCAD or any other thing. You have to ask questions. I cannot help you unless you ask me a question. I don't care if it's five times a day. I will do whatever I need to do to get you to learn AutoCAD. You ask questions, you do your best, I can pretty much guarantee that you can pass the course. Uh, besides the modules, here's the textbook options. This is optional, uh, but it will help you. Uh, and it doesn't really matter what version you get because what we cover is pretty basic, I shouldn't say basic, pretty generic. So if you want to go and get a 2014, 15, 16, 17, 18, or even the 19s out now, the big thing is comprehensive, okay? If you buy this one book, uh, it's actually two books in one. It's actually the introduction and the advanced. This book works for all three courses if you're going to take them to get the certificate here. And plus, it's a really, I, I uh, think it's a very good book, and it's something you can use for many years. Uh, I know that I keep one on my shelf just in case of a little uh, question pops up. Uh, I, I don't know everything about AutoCAD, and I'll be the first one to admit that. Uh, there's just It's just so involved. But these are your options. Uh, again, you know, you can probably go on Amazon and get some of these older ones for 20 or $30. Or if you've got a lot of money, go buy you a new one for $130, $150. I'll leave that uh, up to you. Uh, also, I added under the contents, 
is a little cheat sheet on geometry. Uh, doing AutoCAD, you don't need to know or be good in math, but it would help. Uh, there's no formulas you have to know, but you need to understand some basic things. Um, and I, what I've done is put this up here, and it's just because uh, I've had students ask me the question, so I actually created this little sheet using, and you guessed it, AutoCAD. Uh, you know, talking about angles, talking about uh, tangent, and things like that. So this is just information for you. Okay, uh, do you need it for this class? No, but as your AutoCAD career advances, uh, you will need to, to understand this. It will make you much faster. Okay, so uh, when you, again, once you get into the course, read the announcements, read the discussions, then come to your table of contents, or you could just come to the, I'm sorry, not table of contents, uh, yeah, contents, and, you know, read these two things first. Tell us a little bit about me and how I run the course. Uh, I treat this like a business. Uh, feel free to question me. Feel free to correct me. Uh, I am not perfect. So uh, if I misquote somewhere or miss that, say something, please let me know. Uh, I'm not going to get upset because, again, the only reason I'm here is to teach you for you to learn. Uh, it has nothing to do with my ego. Um, so read all of this uh, first, and then there's a lot of information. You might want to jot it down. If you want to print it out, print it out. Uh, that is uh, totally up to you. Uh, as the course progresses, there's actually 15 of y'all now in the course. So, you know, if there's a couple of y'all that are having problems, we can meet at the SciFair campus uh, on the second floor of the library. That's the uh, tutoring section. And I usually go up there on Saturday mornings from like 10 till noon. And, you know, I'll come up there and answer any question that you have on AutoCAD. Uh, you know, it's no obligation. I'm doing this on my own time to help you out because being it's a 100% online course, sometimes you need that face-to-face. -face. Don't be embarrassed to ask for it. Also during these three courses, but also every one of them, I will be giving you information on how to interview with companies, kind of give you some tips and suggestions on how to find a job, what to do. It's still, uh, you know, of course, getting a job, it's always best to know somebody. But uh, I do have a company that hires my students from time to time for internships. I will let y'all know of that. Uh, so, you know, get into the course, move around in it, make sure you understand things. Uh, please don't be offended if you ask a question and I say, well, it's here. I'm not trying to be mean, but I can guarantee you that if you went to work for a company, uh, doing AutoCAD, they're going to throw a bunch of papers in front of you and say, this is our standards. This is the way that we name files. Oh, this is how we do this. And you need to do that. And they're going to be giving you all kind of little pieces of information out there. And you need to be able to uh, keep it in order and, you know, make yourself some notes to help you along the way. And again, like I said, I can't stress that you ask questions. Um, and like I said, I would check the course every day if you can, if not every other day, just to stay up on things. As you notice, there's no due dates. This course ends in approximately, I forget, let me actually open up the syllabus here. Um, it ends on February 26th. So you have to budget your time. I guess that's a, that's a good thing to say because I believe there is about 20 assignments. So if it's four weeks, you're going to be doing about five assignments a week. Uh, if you get stuck, if you get behind, let me know. I will work with you. I don't want you to get frustrated to a point that you just stop doing things. Okay, because again, I can't help you unless I know your computer breaks down. Let me know. Uh, if you have a personal issue, I don't need to know the details. Just let me know, hey, I've got something going on in my life. I'm going to be delayed a few days. I will work with you as much as I can. But please don't take that as me being a pushover and gullible. 
okay uh, because you still have to do the work I will just work with you the best I can to get you to pass these courses okay so uh, again ask questions and uh, welcome to AutoCAD I hope you enjoy it uh, it is a lot of fun uh, I've been working in AutoCAD since 1991 so that's 27 ish years or so 28 years and uh, again just ask questions and that concludes this video. Thank you.